How do I organize my electronics? Electronics are the heart, or rather the brain, of any robot, and it's incredibly tempting to wrap them in protective layers to stop them from coming to harm. But at the competition, it's advantageous to keep key components accessible for time-sensitive troubleshooting and changes. Here at AndyMark, we build a lot of FRC robots, and we see a lot of robots at the events. There are three main items that you want to make sure are accessible from outside of the robot. The radio, the RoboRio, and the main breaker. It's also a good idea to make sure that any indicator lights, such as on your speed control, are visible from outside the bot. When considering radio placement, it's important to ensure radios are visible, securely mounted, and placed where they are likely maintain strong signal. Many teams use hook and loop to attach the radio. This makes it easy to address any problems, but also provides secure enough connection that teams rarely have issues with radios coming loose due to rough robot play. The label on the radio shows the model and version number, and this may be useful for reference later, so covering it is not recommended. It is recommended to keep the indicator lights visible and a good idea to keep ports clear and leave enough room for your hands to be able to maneuver around it. Same thing goes for RoboRio. For troubleshooting in your team workspace or at the event, it's useful to keep lights visible. The ports should be accessible, and in case the RoboRio 2.0, there should be plenty of room to change your micro SD cards. Keep in mind, cables and their connectors may take up additional space. Make sure to accommodate that when laying out your electronics. The main breaker on your robot should be easy to access in case of a robot emergency. The breaker connects and disconnects power from your battery to the rest of the components on your robot. Make good choices when placing your breaker. Make sure you don't have to put your hands near or through moving mechanisms to use, but also make sure it's protected from being turned off by rogue game pieces or any other robots. The most important thing is to be thinking about placement and cable management from the beginning of your robot design. If it's planned out from the beginning, there will be less surprises in the future. On andymark.com, we have products that help you successfully connect your components, including pre-clamped cables that will help stay connected at the competition and many products that will help with wire management. Always read the game manual thoroughly to ensure that your robot is in compliance with the rules. And that is how you organize your electronics and ensure that they are accessible.